apparently intentionally driving in oncoming lanes of traffic. At times, that's actually a one lane going, one lane coming road, intentionally going over the double yellow lines. Now, LAPD attempting to take this person into custody after he's pulled into a gas station, and he's going to keep going here, and this may very well turn into a full-on pursuit. That does look like what's about to happen here. He's now pulling on to Foothill Boulevard and now going in the, go, going the wrong way. This The driving we've been seeing here for the last few minutes has been extremely dangerous, doing S-turns and even coming into contact with several vehicles. Now, at one point, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department was going to engage with the suspect, but now that he's in the L.A. City uh, perimeter here, the uh, L.A. Now that he's in L.A. City, uh, LAPD is now going to attempt to uh, to bring this to an end here. But obviously, he appears to be playing games now, backing up towards police. This is a very reckless driver coming in contact with that LAPD cruiser there, that SUV that you see there. They're now going to try and set up a spike strip near the exit. Okay, this is getting really dangerous. The driver of this vehicle, obviously, in a very desperate situation, and this is going to turn into a, uh, a pursuit here if he takes us back onto city streets. At uh, one point, there was a report, a report that he may have brandished a weapon. We're still trying to confirm that. You can see LAPD really trying to treat this very gingerly, but now just squeezing through that uh, city bus there, through a red light, and now we are going down Foothill Boulevard. This driver making some very erratic moves. Again, at times driving the wrong way. At one point on Big Tahunga Canyon Road, he was actually doing donuts in the middle of the in the middle of the road, and now he's continuing down Foothill Boulevard. This has escalated into a very dangerous situation. You can see LA. PD with their night sun uh, shining that up from their airship overhead now. That airship has been following this guy for the better part of the last 30 minutes earlier, just doing very slow speeds, stopping and going uh, for no apparent reason whatsoever. At times, it almost appeared that he was intentionally trying to get into a head-on collision with other vehicles. Now, we've seen in the last few minutes, clearly, intentionally uh, trying to collide with LAPD cruisers here. So, a desperate situation. This person, obviously, under the influence of something. Uh, not acting uh, uh, well, it was too early to speculate, but you can see clearly LAPD continue now overhead. We'll see. Are they lighting him up there, Rob? Are they, are they lighting him up? Okay. So this is now a pursuit on Foothill Boulevard coming up on Rhodesia. Coming up on a green light here. Now driving very slowly through the intersection, making a left turn here. Looks like a male driver. Unclear if there's anybody else inside the vehicle. Looks like an older model vehicle. The driving that we're seeing here in the last few minutes, I can't stress enough how dangerous this situation is. And if you live in this neighborhood, as we make our way north on Woodward Avenue, uh, you're going to want to stay inside. Now backing up again into an LAPD cruiser, now coming into contact with that LAPD officer and continuing forward. So this person, uh, really unclear what his intentions are, but we have now seen him intentionally collide with several vehicles, including LAPD here. Once again, backing up into the front hood, into the front bumper, I should say, of that uh, SUV. And once again, stepping on the gas pedal, making his way north northbound on Woodward Avenue. LAPD going to continue this pursuit now northbound at a pretty slow speed here, doing it about 20 miles per hour. But the way he's driving is really the danger here. Uh, certainly, the, the speeds aren't really a factor, but he is all over the roadway and uh, making some really erratic moves here. Certainly a scary site here uh, for the LAPD airship following this from up above and as you can see clearly a scary situation for LAPD officers on the road down there with him they're gonna have to try and clear some of these streets if may maybe they get ahead of him. but you can see here we go with some more s turns as he drives very recklessly through this residential street Appears to be doing a circle through this neighborhood, but again, traveling very slowly as he makes his way down Mather Avenue. Now coming face to face with a pickup truck. At one point, he collided. Okay, a head-on collision here with a pickup truck. This is the second pickup truck that he's hit. That other pickup truck actually turned around earlier and tried to follow him, but this person is very uh, unstable at this point. You can see intentionally colliding with other vehicles. Now the driver of that pickup truck getting out of the pickup truck, and now he's on the sidewalk. Okay, this driver now on the sidewalk and now fleeing from that pickup truck that he collided head-on with. This is so so dangerous here making a right turn onto Fenwick from Mather Street or from Mather Avenue I should say if you live in this neighborhood please stay inside you saw that move getting on the sidewalk there jumping the curb and uh, no regard for anybody's safety here I've counted about a half a dozen vehicles all together since we first started tracking this vehicle that he has come in contact with none of them appear to be very serious uh, mostly uh, pretty soft hits 
but certainly causing damage here and suffering some damage on the front left fender himself. You can see clearly some damage on the front left side of the vehicle. Looks like he's knocked out that front left headlight, and he's now making his way northbound on Foothill Boulevard as LAPD continues the pursuit. They are about a couple of blocks behind him. All of those LAPD officers with their spike strips ready, if they have an opportunity, that's going to be uh, a key here because uh, he seems to be doing uh, very, uh, you know, very slow speeds here and certainly uh, stand by. All right, back into oncoming lanes, cutting, making a turn there. Back into that same Shell gas station that he pulled into just a few minutes ago where this almost came to an end. They attempted a felony stop in this gas station. And once again, he has made his way back to the gas pump and come to a stop in front of the convenience store. We'll see if they try and block the exit here. There are other cars in the parking lot. And he makes his way through the gas station back onto Foothill Boulevard, westbound on Foothill. And the pursuit continues after he's uh, made his way through that gas station several times. Looks like the driver has his windshield wipers on. And again, continuing with those really erratic moves. At times, it, it almost appears as if he's losing control of the vehicle, but it, it actually looks like he's intentionally uh, swerving all over the paint and at times uh, into oncoming lanes of traffic. They tried a spike strip there. I don't think they got it. Did they? Looks like they got that front left wheel, actually. So it looks like that might have been a semi-successful spike strip attempt now, making our way down Sunland Boulevard at 35 miles per hour. So you saw he just crossed under the 210 there, continuing westbound on Sunland Boulevard and uh, picking up a little bit of speed now, pushing about 40, 45 miles per hour. Not a lot of traffic out here, but the few cars that are on the road here, it almost appears as, he's, as if he's intentionally trying to strike these other vehicles. We've already seen him again come in contact with several vehicles up until this point, uh, the most recent of which was that uh, white pickup truck uh, a few minutes ago in the Sunland area. All right, once again, picking up a little bit of speed here in excess of 50 miles per hour on Sunland Boulevard westbound, which will eventually turn south on Sunland Boulevard. And again, all over the paint here, back into oncoming lanes of traffic very unnecessarily here. The erratic driving is continuing. This is just so dangerous for no reason at all. This driver continuing to drive the wrong way on uh, on Sunland Boulevard. This is uh, a pattern now that he's uh, been establishing ever since LAPD was following him on Big Tahunga. You can see other cars pulling out of the way here, and it, it, I, I just can't I can't stress enough. It certainly appears as if he's intentionally trying to come head on with these other cars on the road here, and we have seen him come head on with an LAPD cruiser already. So we have front end damage on the front left, a semi -success a successful spike strip, uh, I think striking that front left tire, but the driving here is just so inexplicable. Picking up speed and then slowing down for, for no reason whatsoever, and now driving the wrong way on Silent Boulevard again for no apparent reason. There's no traffic to, to weave around here. He's just all over the roadway and has been driving all over the roadway for the better part of the last 35, 40 minutes as he's made his way out of the La Crescenta area and now again intentionally backing up into an LAPD SUV. Okay, copy.
again, swerving all over the roadway as he picks up speed on Sullen Boulevard. They've really got to get this guy off the road. Just hit the curb again. And now coming to a stop. Come to a stop again. Now going backwards, ramming into the LAPD officer once again. That same unit taking it again on the front bumper. So that's about the third or fourth time now. He's basically come to a stop, put it in reverse intentionally, striking other LAPD officers, and then hitting the gas once again. This is so dangerous. What was that? Copy. Once again, if you're just joining us on Facebook Live and on ABC7.com and our ABC7 app, you're taking a live look at an LAPD pursuit that started as a following up in Big Tahunga as he came down Big Tahunga out of L.A. County into L.A. City. This is a, a suspect who has been driving very erratically down Big Tahunga before L.A. County eventually abandoned the following, and LAPD took it over. But this entire time, we've been watching extremely erratic driving just like that, swerving inexplicably all over the road into oncoming lanes of traffic, striking several vehicles, including several head-on collisions, and even putting it in reverse to try and intentionally hit other LAPD officers. He's also been going through a series of red lights and stop signs, going uh, slowly through another green light here, and pulling into yet another gas station. He's pulled into several gas stations already, and... Uh, uh, just basically cuts right through them. Looks like he's really trying to antagonize police here. Now turning around on Sunland Boulevard, going back northbound on Sunland Boulevard, almost coming into contact head-on with that, uh, that LAPD officer again. Jesus. This is so scary. Northbound Sunland Boulevard. And we've seen this pattern before. He continues to step on it, then he'll slow down for no reason and stop at some points. Still has his windshield wipers on. You can see clearly some front end damage there on the left side, front left, after striking several vehicles. He's also backed into a couple of vehicles, obviously, as you've seen here. And once again, slowing down. Again, we've turned around on Sunland Boulevard, so we're actually heading back up towards the 210 freeway near the Shadow Hills area. Again, coming to a stop. LAPD with uh, a number of options. And it looks like he's gonna continue on here, but LAPD with a number of options, but also limited in some ways as well. Uh, the watch commander has some, some major decision making to, to do here because obviously the priority here is to get him off the road but here he goes back into reverse and it looks like he's intentionally trying to hit that same LAPD officer once again this is going to be a I can't stress how dangerous this is he's now he's now going to come up on the rear here intentionally trying to strike these officers these LAPD officers are now trying to evade the suspect who was aggressively trying to slam into them once again putting it in reverse backwards into another LAPD officer and again, hitting the gas, making a U-turn, trying to just ram another LAPD officer. This is just unbelievable. A number of LAPD officers in front of him now. He's trying to hit more of them, and they're all trying to get out of his way, but at the same time, keep up with him here as he now makes his way. The, he's now going southbound on Sun, Sun, uh, Sunland Boulevard. I have never seen anything like this in all of my years. Yep, copy that, copy. 
coming up on, a, on, a, on another intersection here, Sunland Boulevard at Sunland Park Drive. You can see slowing through here, but really appears to be looking for an opportunity to cause more damage. He's intentionally trying to slam into as many people as possible, specifically those LAPD officers. So now he's actually uh, cruising southbound on Sunland Boulevard. We've seen him cross into oncoming lanes of traffic for no reason. It looks like he's staying on the southbound side for now, but watch as he slows down and randomly puts the car in reverse. We've seen this now a number of times as he has rammed into several LAPD officers in the course of this pursuit. Just an unbelievable situation on the hands of LAPD who is obviously desperate to get this guy off the road. It is believed that he may be armed. He obviously is using this vehicle as an attempted deadly weapon and driving so erratically they really do have to think very carefully about how they're going to bring this to an end without anybody getting hurt here. But a dangerous situation, to say the least, for everybody in the vicinity of this pursuit. You can see, once again, going into oncoming lanes of traffic on Sunland Boulevard, the pursuit continuing here, only doing about 15, 20 miles per hour. And again, attempting to pull into that Chevron gas station. LAPD calling for the SWAT team to come out for the eventual termination of this pursuit just in case it's necessary. You can see he's come to a stop once again, again, putting it in reverse and right back into that LAPD cruiser once again. None of these have been very serious hits, but enough to cause damage for sure and certainly raise the stakes for him as he poses a serious danger to all of these officers and everybody in this neighborhood. I've never seen anything like this. Unbelievable here. Once again, they're pulling up right behind him and watch as he has the car and park. We'll see if he goes back in reverse or continues to step on the gas here. But this is not going to end well. This is just not going to end well. Looks like he's sitting still for the time being, trying to communicate with these LAPD officers back in reverse. You can see his head out the window there. We only know of one male suspect in the driver's seat. And there again, coming into contact with that LAPD officer once again. Again, these are just little gentle taps, but still dangerous nonetheless. And you can see other cars trying to avoid the path of this vehicle as well. We've seen that as well during the course of this pursuit. And uh, everybody around here wondering what in the world is going on. You can see something coming out of the vehicle there. It looks like he just, he just threw something out the window through the passenger window. And again, swerving all over the road here. Looks like all four tires appear to be appear to be intact. Again, reverse into another LAPD cruiser once again intentionally poking the bear here and looking for a, 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 an ultimate confrontation with these LAPD officers. Can't stress how dangerous this is. Now going through another intersection, LAPD following through, following him through Glen Oaks. The pursuit continuing now onto Glen Oaks Boulevard, off of Sunland Boulevard, picking up a little bit of speed here. And you saw there as he continues to put it into park, back into reverse, into these officers, and then continuing on here. So a pattern that's been established, if he can establish a a pattern in this neighborhood, they can maybe set up for another spike strip, but we've actually made made our way over towards uh, the Sun Valley area now. So continuing now down Glen Oaks Boulevard, coming up on the 5 freeway, straddling those devil yellow lines, and LAPD continuing the pursuit here. A slow speed pursuit, but so, so dangerous with this erratic driving. Unclear what in the world is going through this driver's mind. Again, back into reverse, colliding with LAPD once again. So it looks like that weapon that he was brandishing out the window is actually, looks like it's a knife that he's brandishing out the window. And again, coming to a stop here on Glen Oaks Boulevard, we'll see if he puts it back in reverse. LAPD really wanting to end this here, but right now they're waiting for the SWAT team to get here. It looks like, once again, he's yelling out the window. Yep, that's a knife. That's a knife. Yeah, let's go ahead and push in there. Almost looks like there may be some blood on his arm. Can't make out for sure. You can see, looks like the back seat's empty. It looks like the front seat's empty as well. Just the driver in the driver's seat. And the pursuit will continue here as he continues into drive.
We are southbound on Glen Oaks Boulevard, coming up on Nettleton Street, the driver brandishing a knife out the window, antagonizing police officers and continuing to put the car in reverse, slamming into several police officers here in the last 20 minutes. And the stakes are so high and only getting higher as he continues this pursuit, trying to flee police, but also trying to antagonize them as well. Again, back in, back into that LAPD primary unit there. That's the primary unit that he keeps hitting. What is it? Look at that. Actually took off the re look, took off the bumper of that one SUV. Wow. Look at this. Look at this driving all over the road here, all over Glen Oaks Boulevard. Picking up a little bit of speed, slamming on the brakes, and then he's going to go back in reverse here. Every time he, yep, there he goes. Right back into the primary unit. Another collision, and he's going to keep on going. Look at this. Look at this. Looks like he's uh, trying to back up once again here. Got his head and arm out the window. Did they? Did they? Stay tight, stay tight, Robbie. All right, so once again, into another gas station here. Lots of pedestrians and cars in this particular gas station. It's an Argo gas station at the corner of Roscoe Boulevard and Glen Oaks Boulevard. This armed and dangerous pursuit driver now taking police through this gas station here in Sun Valley and really amping things up here, driving extremely recklessly, intentionally ramming into vehicles, including LAPD officers now going the wrong way, getting onto the freeway, going the wrong way on the five freeway, getting onto the exit ramp and he's gonna get onto the freeway going the wrong way. LAPD now calling for CHP to shut down the five freeway as he makes his way onto the northbound side of the five freeway going south. He's going southbound now on the northbound side of the five freeway. LAPD now efforting every resource possible to try and shut down the freeway. And here he is, there he is right behind that sign going southbound on the northbound side in the carpool lane of the five freeway after ramming into a number of vehicles. This guy is not done yet. And the SWAT team, again, urgently trying to make their way into the area here. Now they're gonna have to struggle with freeway traffic to get onto the five freeway as he makes his way southbound on the northbound lanes of the five freeway where right along, uh, okay, LAPD officers now on the opposite lanes of traffic with their guns drawn. I can't tell if they fired there. LAPD now on the opposite side, on the right side of the 5 freeway, tracking the suspect from across the median as he continues southbound on the northbound side in the carpool lane. They're calling for a full closure of the 5 freeway, but you can see there happens to be a bit of traffic, especially on the northbound side of the freeway here. Uh, such a dangerous situation, can't stress it enough. Now that we're on the freeway, you would... Stand by. All right, LAPD now asking the officers on the southbound side to back off just a bit. They're gonna follow him overhead with the helicopter on the southbound, on the northbound side of the five freeways. He makes his way north here, and eventually CHP will hit him, or run into him, I should say, as they shut down the freeway from points south of here. So a complex situation here with cooperation between the LAPD and the CHP as they try and shut down the freeway. The LAPD officers on the southbound side are going to back off a little bit. The night sun is going to stay on him clearly as that airship continues to track him. He's now stopped on the carpool in the carpool lane on the southbound side. We have seen him recklessly drive into a number of vehicles over the course of this pursuit. It would not surprise me if he takes this into the main lanes. And the people going northbound on the five freeway have to be scared right now. Look at this. Look at as as he's making his way southbound. It almost looks like he's thinking about making his way across those lines and into the traffic head on. But he's slowly making his way southbound, swerving over the paint. Got about 10 minutes. All right, we are southbound on the five freeway. There he goes again, almost trying to go head on with another pickup truck. And again, coming to another stop. This is, this is incredible.
again to give you an idea here we're southbound on the five freeway coming up on hollywood way you can see the southbound side looks like it has been shut down but he's actually on the northbound side going southbound in the carpool lane there coming very close to these vehicles i haven't seen him actually strike anybody on the freeway but this suspect has collided with a number of vehicles across the foothill division of lapd Once again, CHP and LAPD in the process of shutting down every entrance ramp in the vicinity here as we make our way through Sun Valley towards Burbank. There is a, a major effort to shut down the freeway for obvious reasons here. LAPD tracking this from above and a SWAT team on the way out here. Once again, you can get an idea of where we are as we make our way towards Hollywood Way on the left-hand side there. He is on the southbound side. That's a, he had a gun, that guy had a gun. All right, there's a, there, there's there's a guy on the freeway. There's a there's a there's a driver on the freeway who approached that vehicle with a gun. All right, picking up speed once again here southbound on the northbound side. Squeezing through here on the shoulder. He's not even in the carpool lane. He's actually on the shoulder. Just passing Hollywood Way, again, southbound on the northbound side, and again, coming to a complete stop here. So a very dangerous situation there. Apparently another motorist, not sure if that was an off-duty officer or whether it was just a, a, a civilian, but another motorist getting out of his car, approaching that vehicle with a weapon. And now you can see he is by himself here on the shoulder, again, with that knife in his hand, and hitting the gas once again. So if you look real carefully there, we'll go ahead and push in. It looks like, indeed, his arm is bleeding. It looks like he's bleeding from his arm, and there's blood literally dripping down the driver's side door here. So... That's going to be uh, 5 Freeway at Hollywood Way. 5 Freeway at Hollywood Way. close to the wall there. I'm really picking up speed here once again on the shoulder. So it looks like as he makes his way southbound on the 5 freeway here, you can see all of that traffic. It looks like they've done a pretty good job of actually stopping traffic from making its way closer through Burbank here. And now he's going to have some wide open freeway. Granted, going southbound on the northbound side, but that traffic that you see going north is about to dissipate. CHP has created a traffic break south of here. He's got about a mile ahead of him, about a mile ahead of him of wide open freeway going southbound on the northbound side, but then he's got a whole other set of traffic once he gets past that point. So CHP is going to have some decision making to make uh, to, to do as well as he gets closer to them. Obviously, we've seen how desperate he is and uh, how dangerous he is and how willing he is to collide with these law enforcement officers who are involved in this pursuit here. So we'll see what he decides to do. No reason at all. He'd be swerving through here, now swerving all over the five freeway, coming out of that shoulder and back into the main lanes, doing full speeds through the main lane southbound on the northbound side of the five freeway these drivers are pulling out of the way not clear what's going on in front of them and you can see it looks like he may be attempting i was going to say maybe attempting to get off but he's actually it almost seems like he's trying once again to intentionally collide with some of these other cars here so slowing down a little bit on the freeway again if you're just joining us we're going southbound on the northbound side of the five coming up on san fernando So that's, that, that's actually the San Fernando on-ramp right there. He's decided to stay on the 5 freeway. He's now going to pass over San Fernando. And 
and you could see those LAPD officers keeping their distance a little bit on the, on the southbound side. So the LAPD officers on the correct side there, you can see one of those units, the secondary unit in the pursuit, actually losing his rear bumper during one of those collisions earlier. But that's the driver right there. All eyes are on that blue car going southbound on the freeway here into oncoming lanes of traffic. The freeway has been shut down, but it's only about a half mile to a mile, yeah, about a, less than a quarter mile actually, before he has much more traffic and CHP holding traffic at bay here. Now it looks like he's driving off of the freeway. We've seen him drive on sidewalks, jumps of curbs, and now onto a gore point here as he thinks about his next move. He doesn't really have a lot of options here. He's already bypassed the entrance ramp to the San Fernando, from San Fernando. He's actually now passing the exit ramp at San Fernando. Actually, that's going to be Point of Vista. No, not yet. Which one? The gas station? Oh, okay, yep. All right, so here we go. CHP has set up a, uh, essentially a roadblock here. The suspect slowly approaching these CHP units, which have actually stopped traffic on the northbound side of the freeway. And uh, if history is any, is any indicator here, he's going to ram right through these guys or at least go around them. You can see they've set up some cones. What? What is that? All right. CHP has fired. Looks like he's fired some. He did, okay, okay, but, uh, he's ramming through this traffic here. It looks like gunfire may have been exchanged there as he made his way past that CHP roadblock. He's now head on with innocent motorists on the northbound side of the five freeway. This is unbelievable and incredibly dangerous. Indeed, we can now confirm shots were fired by CHP just a moment ago. And again, you can see that CHP officer on the right-hand side of your screen with his rifle drawn and attempting to bring this to an end. CHP with no choice here but to use force and try and bring the, get this guy uh, off the road, at least disable him or disable the vehicle somehow, some way. You can see all of the innocent motorists and the crossfire risk here. In a situation like this, this is the worst case scenario. This is a nightmare scenario for law enforcement. CHP taking up position behind him, trying to avoid any cross fire situation. So they're now looking in the eastbound direction, looking through the passenger window. I count four CHP officers with their guns drawn, looking for movement from the driver's side of the vehicle. Looks like he's actually abandoned the driver's seat and crawled into the back seat. The suspect, after colliding with several innocent motorists here, head on with that red car, has now come to a complete stop and crawled into the back seat. CHP ready to open fire on him once again. If they, if, if they see a threat, that's clearly what they're gonna do. They've already opened fire once, at least once that we can tell. Confirmed shot fired. Unclear whether they hit the suspect, but that suspect has now crawled into the back seat. That's what we can tell you at this point. You can see CHP officers on the southbound side as well. And something coming out of the passenger, rear passenger door there. I don't know if he just stuck his arm out or if he threw something out, but I, I think I saw that knife once again. That suspect, again, armed with a knife and clearly bleeding from the arm. You can see, if you look very carefully, there's actually blood dripping down the driver's side door of that blue car. Looks like he's actually crawled back into the driver's seat. Back in the driver's seat, LAPD now trying to empty out these cars on the freeway. Okay, he's back in the back seat, but LAPD now going car to car, trying to evacuate these drivers from their vehicles. This is incredible. He's popped the trunk. The trunk is now open. I think he's in the front seat. Yeah, the driver's back in the front seat. Driver's back in the front seat. He's popped the trunk and the door is now open. Driver's side door now popped open here. I think CHP is gonna try and get the driver of this red car out, maybe. You can see their guns drawn here. The driver popping out the driver's side door and hopefully gonna give himself up here. You can see, all right. All right, this is where it gets dangerous. You can see he's actually exited the vehicle and we see shots being fired or perhaps a taser. So it looks like officers used a taser there. They used a taser on him in that situation, but he's now made his way back into the vehicle. Whoa.
All right, so it looks like this is turning into a standoff situation here. I want to go ahead and recap what we've seen here in the last few minutes after taking CHP and police officers for a wild ride on the northbound side of the 5 freeway going the wrong way on the 5 freeway. This pursuit has now come to a stop after a head-on collision there with that red vehicle. Officers have opened fire on the driver with rifles and a taser. Unclear what the injuries are at this point, but he's actually managed to make his way back into the driver's seat. He's popped the trunk. And officers are now going car to car, continuing to try and get the drivers that you see here on the freeway out of harm's way. This all started as an assault with a deadly weapon. The driver driving slowly but erratically in the La Crescenta area, coming down big to Hunga, eventually refusing to pull over for LAPD. And that's where the pursuit began as he made his way into the Sunland area. He has been driving extremely erratically over the course of the last hour and ramming into several vehicles, including LAPD officers at several points, stopping altogether, putting the car in reverse, and again, ramming full speed into LAPD officers in front of him and behind him, causing lots of damage on the LAPD officers, several civilian vehicles involved as well, and you can see damage clearly to the pursuit vehicle itself as well. So a wild, wild pursuit appears to be coming to an end here, but now we have a standoff situation as the driver has crawled back in the car and LAPD, along with CHP, looking for an opportunity to get this guy into custody. But in the meantime, I can tell you that LAPD's SWAT team is in the process of making their way over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and show that. So we've got, uh, we've got additional units making their way up here in addition to the SWAT team trying to squeeze through traffic. You can see the 5 freeway northbound happens to have been pretty congested there when CHP formed that traffic break and shut down the freeway. But now everybody is at a standstill here. We're just south of Buena Vista Street on the 5 freeway. You're looking at the northbound side of the 5 freeway, that driver facing southbound on the northbound side. That blue car right there is what we're paying attention to. The driver at one point crawling into the back seat, then back into the driver's seat before popping that trunk. It certainly appears that he has been injured. What the extent of the injuries are, we can't tell you. I can tell you that there is blood dripping down the driver's side door. LAPD has opened fire, or I should say CHP has opened fire, and has also attempted to tase the suspect. But again, the extent of the injuries at this point are unclear. A wait-and-see situation after he intentionally tried to put so many people in harm's way. It looks like this is how it's going to end here, here on the freeway. But we'll see. It's just a delicate situation for law enforcement. It looks like they've got the southbound side completely shut down as well. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't try and take her out. We've seen them go car to car, taking some of these drivers out of the car. But it looks like the driver of that red car who he came head on with is still in the driver's seat. All right, LAPD going to try and get the driver out of that red car. Female driver now being escorted out of her vehicle. And now it looks like most of these cars have been evacuated, except for that one right there, that Audi on the right side. I think the driver's still in there. Did they pull him out too? Okay, so all of these cars are now empty, with the exception of that blue pursuit vehicle. The driver, once again, making his way back inside the vehicle after being tased and uh, shot at. We don't know if officers struck the driver, but this driver does appear to be injured and clearly very unstable. Just an unbelievable situation here. Again, we're on the 5 freeway at Buena Vista Street. The 5 freeway now shut down in both directions. And take a look at all the law enforcement activity down there. Lots more units now making their way into the area. LAPD coming out here in huge numbers. Coming from both the northbound and southbound side, as well as the LAPD SWAT team, who is trying to make their way into the area as well. You can see officers with their rifles drawn, as well as non-lethal weapons.
Yeah, copy that. We're good. We're, good. We're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and head out of here. We're gonna go ahead and refuel Air 7 HD in just a second. We'll be back up to join you for the rest of this standoff here on the 5 Freeway. Keep it right here on ABC7.com and on Facebook Live. Damn bird.